Hey everyone, a uh, bit of an update here on the Switch Pro. Now again, it's a weird thing to be talking about the Switch Pro since uh, we're talking about something that doesn't even been confirmed to exist yet. But this is an update that comes from uh, the publication, Japanese publication Nikkei. And it's been translated by usgamer.net. They actually screwed up the original translation. So I forgive you if you think you already know what this news is. Some of you are thinking it's a delay. Some of you are thinking that maybe some, some news on the Switch Mini here. Uh, but... Actually, uh, they made a number of errors in the initial report, and now they've corrected them. So let's actually read what these corrected errors are and talk about it. So uh, first, this is about the uh, Switch Pro itself. So it says, beyond the smaller budget-focused model lies the development of an overhauled next-generation model intended to replace the one currently available. Nintendo is believed to be experimenting on a number of different things for this device, including usability, improved image rendering, and changes to the operating system, among other things. One development source contends, however, that it still remains unclear at this stage who at the company will end up taking the lead on conceptual development for the new console. Uh, so that is obviously interesting. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, if you scroll further down, you'll actually see where it talks a little bit about the Switch Mini. And it says uh, the small bargain version of this main console, Nintendo Switch, uh, it's reportedly designed for a portable outdoor use. The report also suggests that it will be dockable and playable on the TV. Uh, so that does go against earlier rumors that suggested a smaller Switch would do away with the TV component of the current Nintendo Switch model. Now, it being dockable, of course, doesn't mean that it's going to come with a dock, but that it does support such a functionality. So what does this all mean? Um, what it does mean is that if this report is true, uh, that the Switch Mini now is conflicting reports on its usability of being a docked version or not. But also, more importantly, for the Switch Pro, which is obviously the next generation or the next more powerful Switch or whatever, however you want to look at it, the mid-gen upgrade, uh, they're suggesting they don't even know who's going to lead on the concept of development for the new console. Um, if they're at a point where they're not even sure who's going to lead the project, it's not coming this year, folks. Uh, and I think that's kind of the big takeaway here. And maybe this is why people felt it's a delay when that's not actually what the Nikkei report says. The Nikkei report does not say the Switch Pro is delayed. They say that, that they have a number of things they're considering for the Switch Pro, and they haven't even picked someone to head the project. If it, they don't even have a head for the project, the Switch Pro is not coming in 2019. This would actually go against the report from the Wall Street Journal that said that we are going to get the Switch Pro and the Switch Mini this year. So now we got conflicting reports from reliable resources on what the heck's happening with the Switch Pro. And uh, I, I don't know really where I'm supposed to stand on all of this. This is what happens when you're in the realm of leaks and rumors and speculation. You don't really know what's true and what's not. Nick A is a reliable source. Wall Street Journal is generally considered reliable. Eurogamer is generally considered reliable. And all three of them are now conflicting with each other in various different ways. So <laughs> tread lightly, I guess, is, is the best way to put it. I guess if there's one takeaway you could take out of this article um, along with the Wall Street Journal and Eurogamer, it's that we're getting Switch Mini this year. Switch Mini is happening in 2019. They all agree on that. So I guess that's one point. If they all agree on it, it's probably true. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of disagreements on the Switch Pro. And man, oh, man, um, I don't think we're going to see. The, the, like the more and more I'm hearing about it, the more and more I don't think we're seeing Switch Pro this year. I don't think they're announcing it this year. I don't think it's going to be at E3. Uh, I think they're just going to let PlayStation and Xbox do the thing this year and announce it next year, release it next year. I don't know. Like They, they don't even uh, – I mean, if this report's true, they don't even have someone to lead the project. So I, I have no idea what's going on with this thing. Uh, and I think that's really the biggest takeaway is none of us have any idea – what the switch pro is going to be right this latest new report says they're debating a number of different things including usability which i mean obviously that's the functionality of the system um improved image rendering which you know again improved you know that's like hardware improvements um and changes to the operating system i don't know what you need to change but okay and then among other things like i we know nothing so stay classy and uh be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate giveaway. Because, hey, you know what we do know? That thing exists. That thing's real. So go to that gleam.io link down in the description and enter. Um, and let me know, I guess, your hopes and desires for the Switch Mini and the Switch Pro. Uh, and what, if anything, all these conflicting reports mean to you. Because, to me, they mean a whole lot of confusion on a product that Nintendo's not even confirmed to exist. So, um, 
I guess this is what happens when you live in the world of rumors and speculation. All right, folks. Catch you in the next one.